All right, my friends, welcome back. This is something new. This is, uh, by request, someone had mentioned this some time ago. This is eLive OS. Now, admittedly, I really don't know too much about this uh, Linux distribution. You can get more information, such as I have, from eLiveCD.org. That is eLiveCD.org. Now, this got my attention because it says here, eLive may be the best Linux OS ever made. The best? Wow. And probably the only distro you'll stay with. Okay, that's a fairly impressive statement. Let's scroll down some more. Now you can get more information here. What is eLive? And basically this is Debian uh, running the Enlightenment desktop. Now I, I do remember way back that Enlightenment is super lightweight and super fast. And it says here that you can uh, take equipment as old as 15 years old and install this and run it so chances are if you have equipment that's that dated you're probably going to want to download the 32-bit 32 32-bit 32 edition of this linux distribution which is what i did now there is more information here technical details minimum requirements 256 megabytes of ram and a 500 mega megahertz cpu not just Debian with Enlightenment, 2,500 own packages with detailed customizations, tons of customizations, and so on, and facts about Linux. So as far as the documentation for newbies, yeah, um, not bad. In fact, it's, it is very good. So again, check out elivecd.org. So I am running this in live mode in a virtual box and I just booted this up so again I really don't know too much about this uh, I figure this is something that if you are new to this you're probably not gonna have too many issues navigating through this now, this is highly mouse centric meaning here on the desktop right click brings up something left click and left click again brings up a menu so again very very zippy very very fast um, smooth I, I, I don't see any issues with this so far running this inside a virtual box now the minimize windows or windows that I'm not using it looks like in this desktop they are separated into little boxes as I like to call them so for example this is chromium we can get out of that now this documentation, this uh, GNOME document previewer, as it's called, gives you some super eLive hotkeys to get started. As you see here, okay, that's cool. Oops, didn't want to do that. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Now if I want to close this, <laughs> this, this made me laugh. I'll go through these one by one. Close, annihilate, iconify, leave alone raise lower shade on shade stick on stick get it stick it remember window size set stacking set border style window groups opacity and, and miscellaneous obviously the word an annihilate i'm sorry i'm thinking of arnold schwarzenegger terminate eli ball annihilate so i'm assuming that it's if it's a frozen stuck window oh man if close doesn't work, just chose annihilate. So for this, I'll just do close. <laughs> okay, let's move along. Uh, this is the display manager here. And uh, I was able to get this, um, yeah, looking pretty well. Resolution and anyway, I'll just leave, I can get out of this. Uh, there are three little boxes here and they're hard to see but way to the right we can get out of that you don't have any safe configuration okay i don't have to worry about that for now since i'm just testing this more information about elive kind of like a welcome screen does pop up and it's actually very very handy so this part i, I do like a lot and an index so why don't we go ahead and exit out of that this looks to be some kind of a music player I guess um, Cairo dock by the way does come installed my favorite dock 
Uh, let's see how to show this. Um, okay, this is, yeah, Audacious. All right, my favorite. Much better name than Dead Beef music player, right? We have a Conky here to the left. And you can't see, but it says 449 megabytes of RAM. Not bad. I believe the 32-bit, the most you can use is uh, either 3 gigs or 4 gigs or something like that. Um, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and move along here. You do have two desks, two, wor two workspaces here. Very nice wallpaper, by the way, the bottom and the top. If I hit the super key, nothing happens. Again, right click, all right, settings, desktop, themes, maintenance, purge, config, file cache, some other purges, some query, help, about enlightenment, about the steam, restart, log out. If we left click, we got terminal. It says here type help to know the ton of eLife features available. I will type help. Okay. All right, audio. So we have Audacious, very good. Audacity, Brazero, Mix, MPV, Media Player, Music, YouTube, Music Brains, Picard, Mr. Picard, Captain Picard, Rhythmox, Sound Juicer, Spotify, Volume Control, and Yoshimi, Development, Asana, um, Calendar Elementary, Perf. Okay, Icon Browser, Meld, and the text editor, Education, Gap Minder, Khan Academy, ah, The Wrath of Khan, Kiavaro, Ted, Video Neat, Vsauce. <laughs> oh man, I'm still laughing at Annihilate. eLive, collaborate with eLive, comments, the forum, Eli News, the mother, okay, all right, cool, some games, actually a lot of games. A7 XPG, Dusumi. I'm probably saying that wrong. DOS box, Fury of the Furries. Ooh, and a whole bunch. Steam is installed. Super Mario War. Taurus Trooper. Okay, graphics. Illicit e photo. E ruler. Looks like this is the GIM GT Cam Digital Camera Browser Image Magic. Inkscape Shotwell. Simple Scan Vunor. Network. All right, so we have Chromium Web Browser. Some others. Office. All right, Abby Word, a very lightweight document viewer, as I su would suspect would be in here. A settings, ad administration, admin of shared, advanced audio configurator, configurator, Bluetooth, customized look and feel. Man, this thing has a lot. And some other settings here. Utility. A whole bunch. Archive backups, bulk rename, Cairo Doc, my favorite doc, and a whole bunch of others. Video. Ah, it looks like... All right, vocal screen screen recorder is installed by default. VLC, very good. My favorite for both Linux and Windows. <laughs> Let's annihilate it. <laughs> I'm getting a kick out of that. Anyway, okay, so DVD encoder. Mm, okay, cheese. Enlightenment, more settings here, themes, and so on. Let's try orange juice. Um what happened that I see? oh there it goes okay okay I don't think I like that definitely do not like that no 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 I don't like that let's go to themes again let's go to eLive dark big fonts that's right ah much better for my 40 inch screen okay I kind of like this better all right about the theme restart log out okay um let's go to the dock at the bottom eLive installer, logout, Wi-Fi, hotkeys, power manager, pulse audio, stack, bin, clipboard, drop to share, shortcuts. Uh, there we go. Okay. Let's go to the home folder. Thunar. So this is a modified version of XFCE, it looks like. Very good. All right, so this is the applications. Uh, this is the Cairo Doc settings, rather. Okay, and these are the applications here to the left. The applications menu and a search tab there. So if I click that, go to the top. Yeah, Rhythm Box Music Player. It's on there twice. 
I don't know. Overall, um, it's fast. Uh, if this is really going to work in a 15-year-old machine, I think it's awesome. Um, of course, you really won't know till you do a full install test in real hardware. I actually have a machine that's over 10 years old, a ThinkPad, that had a, a Windows XP. So this might be something to take a look at, just out of curiosity. Uh, I believe the 32-bit right now is still a beta. Uh, overall, I don't know if this is the best out there, uh, but I do like it. Um, yeah, it's um, I do like the mouse gestures quite a bit. So check out eLive. Uh, as the developer says, this may be the best one out there. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, RAM usage remains the same. It looks like 480. That's actually pretty good. I'll have a link for this uh, below in the show notes. That's all I have for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Let me, let me know what you guys think. This is uh, certainly something uh, different, to say the least. So check it out. Thanks for watching.